Hey, welcome. This is an introduction video to my advanced Django course uh, where you will learn to build an e commerce system. This is a 100% project based course, and if you know a little bit about Django already, this course is for you. Uh, but if you are an absolute beginner, I would say please learn the basics of Django and then come back to this course. But where to learn the basics, right? Well, there's two ways. So, first, you can go to my YouTube channel, and here I have the uh, playlist okay so in this playlist i have like uh, 20 to 22 videos okay so this includes one uh, simple project as well and uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, django basics then you can uh, also go to uh, ratank.com and here uh, j simply go to this courses right so here we have uh, uh, free courses right so th this is the one i'm talking about so this is python django basics develop to practical projects okay so this one will have you know this is actually a four hours course and i think uh, this course is enough for you to get started with our this year advanced e-commerce project all right so first of all i want to show you how exactly this project works and what exactly are you going to build in this course right so this is actually the demo site and you can also go to djangogreatcard.com and check this project yourself okay so let me quickly show you what are the things that you're going to build in this course so first of all this is the home page that you're going to build and also you will have the categories okay so you click on any of the categories and you see the product that belongs to the categories okay and after that we also have the store page right so let's go back to the home page and you see we have the popular products and when you open the product and you will land into the product detail page right so in the product detail page we have the product gallery right so this is actually the uh, image gallery you can say okay and also one more uh, important feature uh, that is the product variant okay so you can actually choose the color and the size as well okay so this is one of the very important feature that the e-commerce system should have okay and also you can add the product to the cart right so and the increase the quantity decrease the quantity right also you can uh, remove the uh, you know product from the category as well okay so after that of course the checkout page right one more thing i want to show you is the sign in and registration functionality here so for the registration functionality we are actually going to use the custom user model of django as you know django comes with the default user model right but as i said this project is a kind of advanced project so we are not going to use the default uh, you know default user model we are going to use the custom user model okay so so that we will have the full control over our you know user model and also we will have the sign in and uh, you might have seen in the basic projects we usually use username and password to log into the system right but in this project we are going to use the email address and password to log into the system right so that is one more important thing so before i go ahead and log into the system i just want to show you one more thing that as i said we can select the color and size right but you see we have three colors and we have three sizes as well right so previously i added atx jeans with the white and medium but this time what i'll do is i'll just go and add uh, you know the color as blue, i mean green or uh, large or something right so you can see uh, you know the individually these products are getting added into the database right now one more thing you notice we have not yet logged in right so this feature works in such a way that even if the user is not logged in he will be able to add the product with the product variant even before he log into the system right so once he is done with adding the product to the cart he can now go to checkout page then we are going to ask him to log in or sign up in the system okay so now you see we have the product in the cart right so now when you log in these products will automatically be assigned to the user who is logging in right for example you see this right so let me add one more quickly i'll add this blue and small add okay so i'll add two three quantity and check out and i will log in right the moment i logged in those products will be automatically assigned to the logged in user previously those products were actually stored in the local storage you know or the uh, cookies now these products are assigned to the logged in user 
okay so that's one more thing that is you know very important about the e-commerce system all right and we also have the dashboard and in the dashboard you can see the total number of orders and you can see this is how you're going to uh, build this uh, order history right when you click on this and you will see the order detail page as well okay and after that the edit profile and change password and then log out right okay so one more thing you see we have the review system right rating and review system and this is very very important and using this review system you can also review half star right you know 0 0.5 star 1 star 2 star similarly you can also uh, give 4.5 or 5 star okay so in order for any user to leave a rating and a review on this particular product there are two criteria one he must be logged in right he must be logged logged into the system and second is he must have uh, you know purchased this product okay then only uh, he will be able to leave a rating and review but for now for the testing purpose i have just disabled this uh, you know two factor review submission even if you have not purchased this product uh, you can still leave a rating this is just for you know a testing purpose because you see you can also go to jangogreatcard.com and see you know everything is working okay so that's why for testing i have just uh, disabled this two factor review submission okay so let's uh, go to the admin page okay before i go to the admin page i also want to show you something else here you see in the store page uh, we have the uh, pagination right so we have the pagination and, and you can see the url is being changed right a second page third page and also we have the next and previous okay all right perfect and let's actually go to the admin page okay how to go to the admin page in django simply go to a follow slash and admin right so this is our admin page right no so this is not the actual admin page this is the fake admin page right why i'm using fake admin page here where is the real admin page right so i'll show you the real admin page but this one is actually the fake admin page why i'm using fake admin page is because uh, you see anybody who want to hack our system or you know steal something from our system so he may know uh, django right anyone who knows django and he will definitely know how to log into the system right so that's just by forward slash admin so that's why in this default admin url we are actually going to show the fake ad uh, django admi administration uh, login page okay so what this will do is this will actually record whatever email address and password that you try to log in right for example i try to log in to the system using this one right but this is actually telling you email address and password is wrong or something okay so you can just read it so you know this attempt will be recorded in our database okay i'll show you now how to log into the real system now uh, i mean real uh, login page just go to secure login okay so this is the secure login this can be anything and if you are you know if you are working on this project this is up to you whether you want to name this url pattern as a secure login or anything else okay so this is actually the real login page and here i will just log in this is the admin panel okay so here we have the accounts and we have so many uh, so many things here right so payments is also being taken place right orders and ordered products is also there let me show you the order okay i'll go to the orders and let's go to here and you see here right so everything is being recorded in this admin page so this is the variation right so what variation you uh, choose for this rx and blue shirt right red and small okay so th these are all the test orders right test orders and uh, because this is the live site right so people are actually coming here and you know placing some orders with the sandbox accounts and everything so you can also do the same okay you can also play with this you can just place some orders and uh, payment is also getting recorded right so we are using the paypal payment gateway so this is about the payments and uh, you can you know you can add the products here so when adding the products you can also add the product i mean image gallery here okay so if you have like multiple images you can just add it from here just add another just add one two three four images 
okay and uh, there, there is a lot of things here but i think i forgot few of the features what you can do is you can simply go to this django greatcard.com and play with this system okay and when learning how to ask questions right so you can ask questions on youtube comments and also if you have some you know if you want to show me some screenshot or anything you can just uh, go to this uh, q a platform right just go to ratanke.com forward slash qa so this is our dedicated QA platform so we are very much active here okay so if you have something serious or some very big issues you just got stuck then you can simply contact here just raise the question so before raising the question of course you have to log in and lastly how you can download the resources including the source code right so it is very simple in any video if i ask you to download the uh, resource from the you know resource section you can simply go to the video description okay in the video description i will attach the all the necessary uh, resources okay so you can simply go and download them okay so of course if you have any issues you know how to contact me okay so that's it for this video and if you like this project and you want to learn it just make sure you you know bookmark this channel or the playlist okay